Hey, 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 it's Mr. Bass. You guys that watch my channel on a regular basis know that I love fishing tackle bags. Tackle bags of all sizes and shapes. I like to look at them, review them, try them out. And um, so I'm always game for a new tackle bag, a new tackle box, a new tackle backpack. Now, uh, some people reach out to me and ask me to check out their tackle backpack and uh, I did a video on this bag already you may want to go check it out I'll put a link right here that you can go and check out the video for this bag now I'm not sure how you pronounce this company I've heard people pronounce it Matane Mateen and I think I was pronouncing it Matean uh, so who knows what it's called but what I do know the materials are very durable and uh, the prices are great I don't think you can buy these in tackle stores. You got to buy them online like Amazon. So they've created another bag. And that little bag there is really awesome for the price. Go check out that video. But they've come out with a new, uh, bigger, bolder bag. Still amazing price. They sent me one to review. So I'm going to check it out. I have not physically used it. But I'm going to show you the features and kind of let you know what my first impressions are of this backpack. This backpack is considerably larger than the other one that I reviewed, as you can see. The price for this bag is $45.99. That's right, 46 bucks. Another impressive feature with this bag is it's not just a fishing tackle box bag, but it has a cooler in it. And several of you guys have commented to me that you want a bag with a cooler, either to put live bait in or to put your catch in, or just to bring snacks when you go out fishing. This bag solves that problem. It has a built-in cooler, all for 46 bucks. I don't know that anybody can beat these guys' prices. Okay, some of the features before I kind of show you some of the specifics is, it is made out of 600 denier uh, nylon fabric. It is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it is water resistant. And that's as good or better than a lot of fishing bags you can get out there. They also have anti-rust zippers. And I like to test the zippers whenever I'm trying a new bag. These zippers don't feel super stout, um, but they feel decent and they open and close very easily. The poles, the poles are just a string, but they, they seem fine, they seem adequate. One uh, kind of disclaimer I will make is across the industry, when it comes to tackle box bags and tackle bags, most of the zippers really are, are, are bad, quite frankly. Uh, so these zippers, when I feel them and look at them and examine them, they seem just as good as the vast majority of zippers out there. I've never seen YKK zippers on a tackle box bag, which I think is very unfortunate. It would definitely make the price go up, but I think as often as you open and close zippers, I think a solid tackle bag needs to have YKK zippers. Dimensions, it's 17 inches tall, so it's still not super tall. It's almost 12 inches wide, 11 and three quarter inches wide, and it's eight inches deep. So it's a decent sized bag, it's, but it's not overly huge, overly cumbersome. And I quite frankly like a smaller tackle bag. Uh, I, you know, the problem with a huge bag is I will still fill up a huge bag just like I will a small bag. And then the huge bag's practically impossible to lug around. So I like a smaller bag. And in this case, this the size suits me here for this one. All right, so let's start with the cooler. Every cooler bag I've ever seen, uh, you kind of have a top compartment and you have a lower compartment and the cooler has always been in the top compartment. Guess what? These guys are doing it different. The cooler is in the bottom and it has a Velcro strap here. Um, I like the strap on the front of bags. Several companies do that. And I think it just gives you more structure for when you have it loaded. So this is the cooler. You can, you can dump whatever you want in here as far as ice. Uh, you can put food. You can, you know, we already talked about, you, you know what to do with a cooler, right? You can use it as a cooler. Or 
If you don't want to use it as a cooler, this thing will hold four 3600 size tackle boxes in here. So here's a 3600 size deep, you know, so this is deeper than a normal size, but I just happen to have it laying here. So I'll throw it in the bag for a second just to show you how it fits. And as you can see, it fits fine. The bag will zip up just fine, no problem. So uh, you've got options here. You can put four tackle boxes in here or you can use this as a cooler. So what's in the top compartment? It's just a compartment with a shelf, okay? And you can put stuff in there, whatever you wanna put in. It also has an inner pocket like a map pocket. I don't know if you can see that that's clear. That's clear plastic. So I can get in clear plastic. You can see through it. We used to call that a map pocket back in the days when people really used maps. But you could put your ID in there, your wallet, uh, whatever you want to put in there, your fishing license. Um, it's a decent size compartment. Let's see if that 3600 box will fit in here. Yeah, it fits. So you can put several of those in the top compartment. The lid, the inside of the lid doesn't have anything because there's a pocket right here that you open from the outside that's gonna be for your sunglasses. And there you go. This is a nice cloth-like fabric to put your sunglasses in. And I read somebody's review of a backpack the other day saying, I don't need a sunglass pocket because I wear my sunglasses. Well, that may be true, but there are a lot of times, like when you get in really dark weather or you get, uh, you, maybe you start in the daytime and then you switch to fishing nighttime, it's nice to have a sunglass pocket. If you're like me, where I have to have prescription sunglasses, I need a place for my regular glasses to go while I'm wearing the prescription sunglasses. So I always need a place for glasses. So I like that feature. I think it's a good feature. All right, another thing that's pretty unique to this bag is if you notice there's a zipper in the center between the top tackle compartment and the cooler. And the purpose of that is so that you can open this thing up like so all the way. And then you can lay the bag flat open like this. And you can get your stuff out of your cooler from the top or the front, depending upon how you want to do it. Uh, also, they say that when it's open, you also got kind of a flat surface that you could use as kind of a tray if you wanted. So for whatever that's worth, uh, it splits open like this and you've got access to the top. What this clearly does not have is it does not have a pass-through from the top to the bottom, so you cannot put long 3700 style boxes in here. There are a lot of these um, bags that are like this. The center tray actually is removable, and then you can put a long vertical box in all the way. You can't do that on this bag, so just keep that in mind. 3700 boxes are not gonna fit in this bag. They're not gonna fit in the top, they're not gonna fit in the bottom and they won't fit all, there's no way for them to pass all the way through. Now let's look at the features on the outside of the bag. I already talked about the um, sunglass pocket. It has a carry handle and uh, it feels like it is pretty sturdy. Um, it's not double stitch that I can tell, but it does feel pretty sturdy. Uh, if you look at the front, the front has webbing here on the front, that uh, nylon webbing that you could attach your pliers or tools or other implements on the front if you want wanted. Uh, one thing that I do like on the bottom is that it's got four feet. I like tackle bags. What I really prefer is a solid hard bottom to keep everything dry. But when you're talking 45 bucks for a bag, I can see why they don't have that. At least they've got the details of these rubber, uh, really plastic feet. And these feet should keep the bag out of the moisture. So in addition to these feet, this uh, bottom fabric is waterproof. So 
They say on their website that the, wa the, the this piece of bottom fabric is completely waterproof, so it's gonna keep water from passing into the bottom of the bag. That's the only waterproof part of the bag. Like I said earlier, it is a water resistant backpack for the most part. If you look on this side, it has two rod holders on this side. Uh, they're actually pockets that are, you could put water bottles in, in these pockets if you did not want to, uh, if you do not want to use them as rod holders, but the butt of the rod would sit in here, and then you've got these uh, bungees to hold two rods in place, one on either side. I'm not gonna put a rod in here to show you, but that's what they're made for, and I'm sure they work fine. Let's see about putting a bottle. Let's see if there's a bottle that will fit in the rod holder if you don't want to put a rod in it. That works just fine this is a it actually can go in further than that there you go fits in the bag just fine so you could easily put two there <laughs> but if you want them cold put them in the cooler okay then if we flip to the other side here you have a nice size zipper pocket here that you could put all kinds of things you could put soft plastics in here it's very big uh, you could easily put spools of line quite a few in there just a nice all-around pocket and then up above here you kind of have a another pocket with a drawstring that you could put some bigger items in I, it, it's not what i would call a very good water bottle pocket unless you had a really fat squatty bottle but uh, you could definitely use this pocket for quite a few different things i'm sure if you go to the back uh the straps are they do have some mesh webbing for breathing on the inside of both the straps. The straps are decent. I wouldn't say they're like super duper or super heavy, but they're definitely decent. Uh, it has a chest sternum type strap. It has some raised mesh panels on the back with some channels here for airflow and breathability. <clears throat> and this, these feel like, you know, typical standard soft padding they see it feel fine here's another interesting feature to this bag back here there is a secret pocket they call this the security pocket so this is going to be of course on your back but here you can hide valuables you know this is where you might want to keep your wallet uh, or things that are a little harder to find a little harder to get to uh anyway kind of a private security pocket that would be at the small of your back when you're wearing this thing. Okay, so now I've got it on, got the chest strap clipped, uh, just so that you can kind of see what it looks like on your back. Let's turn this down a little. There you go. Like I said, it's not huge. I think it's, A great medium-sized bag, not large, not small. Plus it's got the cooler. Uh, for 45 bucks, I think it's gonna be very, very hard to beat this bag. If you were to take a similarly comparable bag on the market today with all these features, low ball would be 75 bucks and it's probably closer to 100 or $125 for a comparable bag. Now. How well is this made? You know, it's made in China, but they do have a lifetime warranty. Right here, look at that. Lifetime warranty. So they say they warranty this for a lifetime. In fact, it says if anything happens to your Mateen product, simply return it to us, we will take care of the rest. How about that? If they really hold up to their warranty, I don't know what you can, how you can go wrong for 46 bucks, 45.99. I think it's a great value. I think it's loaded with features. Uh, and for you guys that like rod holders and are looking for a cooler, this may be the best option out there. Go give it a try, go check them out. Hope you like it. If this video was helpful and informative, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button and share the videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, this is Mr. Bass. Happy backpack fishing.